Hi, in a previous video I showed you how to draw a cat with pencil on paper. If you have not seen this video yet, I will place a link to this video in the description down below. Now it is time for more serious stuff. Painting a cat in oil. I plan to make a painting with a cat in a nice costume in a winter landscape. The dimensions of the painting will be 40 by 70 centimeters. The drawing is quite rough and I don't spend all my time drawing every hair in pencil. As usual I paint my first layer in acrylics. As you can see I use very little amount of color in the underpainting. Only the eyes have got some color, which will come in handy later to get enough saturation in the end result. Older stiff brushes are still useful for displaying the cat's hair. This way the older brushes get a second life and are not wasted. The advantage is that acrylic paint dries very quickly. It also keeps the underpainting fresh and not too heavy. I often let the background shine through here and there through the oil paint. In this way you still keep spontaneity in the painting and the work is not endlessly painted dull. Often photorealists have the tendency to work endlessly on a painting with the result that all spontaneity and freshness has disappeared from the painting. The trick is to be able to stop in time. I first start painting with the eyes in oil. From there I move on to the rest of the cat. An eye is a little bit wet and you should try to show that in your painting. In itself that's not very difficult. By painting a slight reflection you can already achieve great effect. It is important that you paint a reflection at the same height for both eyes. Otherwise you will miss the symmetry between both eyes. Also pay particular attention to the position of the eyes. Near the nose the corner of the eye is slightly lower than on the outside. It may seem like a detail but it remains important to take this into account. The edges of the eyes are very dark. It seems as if the cat is wearing glasses. The cat I paint here is a sacred permen. I love to paint this cat, especially those pronounced blue eyes are adorable. Who can resist this? As you can see in this video, I support my hand with a wooden stick. This is not only to support my hand, but also to prevent me from bumping into the wet oil of the painting.
Now that the first coat of oil paint is completely ready, I can continue with the final layer. With this last layer in oil, the cat portrait gets even more of a 3D effect. But before we continue, I ask you to subscribe if you like this video. That way you won't miss any of my videos in the future. Back to work. I start the final stage by painting the cat's whiskers. This requires a lot of concentration to paint the line as smoothly as possible. Now the eyes also get their second layer. The center of the eye is slightly lighter than the outside and there is also a bit more teal to discover. For those who like to know, I paint these details with a brush from Winsor & Newton, a number zero, Cutman. The oil paint that I use is mainly from the Blox brand. This is a great Belgian brand of oil paint. I paint the dark parts of a cat's snout with a mixture of burnt sienna, burnt umber and ultramarine blue. I would definitely like to point out not to use black at this stage of the painting. When black mixes with the other colors, you end up with dirty colors that take away the freshness of the colors. By working in different layers that are slightly transparent, the colors get the brilliance that you would not be able to obtain with opaque layers. This last layer also gets a bit more structure, especially in the light parts of the fur. I paint a bit thicker than in the shadows. This scene is now very crisp and yet spontaneous at the same time. That was my intention. Now I'm ready for the finishing touch. The lightest parts are given extra attention with titanium white and a touch of cadmium yellow.
Here you can see the end result and the complete setting of the painting. In this video you could see how I built the portrait of the cat. I don't claim that my method is the best, this is just how I work. In this painting you can also see a main Coon cat in addition to the sacred Burman. Also a very nice cat to paint. I am very satisfied with this work and will call it Queen of Birds. An appropriate title I think. Soon this winter scene will hang in a nice spot at an art collector. Thank you very much for joining me, it was an absolute pleasure to have you here. If you are subscribed to this channel, great. If you haven't subscribed yet, well, now it's time to subscribe. I'll see you again next time.